Gary. Mm. I can get excited about basketball, though, and we're just two days away from watching KU in the Final Four. There's a lot happening as the team prepares for this big game. So to stay up to date, grab your smartphone, scan that QR code on your screen to find all of our coverage on KU. Yeah, we've tried to make this as comprehensive as possible for you. Today, the team spent their first full day in New Orleans. KU lost in the first weekend of the tournament last year. That caused a lot of doubt for what this team would do this year. The athletes say they've been determined to defy those low expectations. I think everybody just had on their mind to prove people wrong because we are confident what we can do. And I think this whole year we've just been looking back and, you know, showing that, you know, this is what we're capable of. And now that we're at this moment, we just got to, you know, seize everything that we have. Let's go ahead and send it out to 41 Sports Director Mick Schaefer, who is live in New Orleans. Yeah, wearing short sleeves, too. Must be nice out there. Mick, <laughs> you found a former KU athlete who actually lives there in the Big Easy. Absolutely, guys. A little slice of Kansas City down here in New Orleans. A local artist who moved down to the Big Easy a few years ago, and his beloved Jayhawks have now found him, and so did we. So I have been doing this for over 40 years. So let's see how well I do it. John Bucati can draw a Jayhawk better and faster than probably anybody. It's not that easy. The KC native and former KU football player makes much of his living doing live paintings at events in front of crowds in the matter of just hours or minutes uh, or even seconds. I think people love watching things being made. Um, art, cooking, live music, and I bring that aspect into um, painting. If I got my own drawer for Chiefs and Royals and KU. UKD now lives in New Orleans I and creates all sorts of paintings of at this studio, the but there's nothing years. like KU or KC art for him. Being that I'm so passionate about KU and the Chiefs, it lures me back in every time. I mean, I've been watching this run, hoping they get down here just like anybody else, um, and now I don't have to watch these games by myself anymore. This took a day, I think. I think and not only was John longing for this, this Final Four, but so was New Orleans. With everything that went on with Hurricane Ida, even this tornado that just came through. This is what we're good at, is taking people and showing them a good time. Hey, John is amazing. I've seen him before back when he used to live in Kansas City. He now travels all over the country, all over the world, doing live paintings. In fact, he's going to the Masters next week. He says he's going to the game on Saturday to cheer on his Jayhawks, but prior to that, he will be live painting at the House of Blues here in New Orleans for a KU pep rally. He says he doesn't yet know what he's going to create, but he'll be painting for like two or three hours straight. We're going to try to catch him on Saturday as well. In New Orleans with the Jayhawks, I'm Mick Schaefer, KSHB 41 Sports.